In 2021, the eagerly awaited next instalment in the James Bond franchise will be released, as shown in this slick trailer. Why would I betray you? We all have our secrets. But its release could be eclipsed at the box office by a movie most people in the West may never even have heard of. You understand English? The slapstick comedy, Detective Chinatown 3, will help China's box office to take more money than America's, to become the biggest in the world. For a century, Hollywood has ruled the movie world. Now it's China's turn. Hollywood was the first kind of global, truly global film industry which exported worldwide. And it has held that dominance for a long time. Now with um, China becoming the biggest box office, um, it feels like a milestone simply because it sort of uh, shakes that Hollywood dominance of it. China's cinema industry has been growing for a number of years. But in 2021, projections show America's box office revenues stagnating as China's continued to rise. Uh, China's building more screens, particularly in third tier and fourth tier cities. Uh, so it was something that was going to happen. It was just a question of what year it was going to happen. The trend is there. In America, film fans are shunning the cinema in favour of video on demand. But in China, both online streaming and cinema attendance are on the rise. The key element of it is the, uh, is the young audience um, who go to the cinema regularly. Um, you know, going out with friends to go to the cinema is some, still something of, of an event, an experience. China's rise to the top of the box office has been helped by the pandemic. Hollywood delayed productions and movie theatres have been closed. Yet in China, cinemas are now back up to almost 75% capacity and production of new films is steaming ahead. They are not too reliant on foreign productions in a way that they were perhaps previously. Um, nowadays, something like 65 to 75% of the cinema slate in China is actually uh, local content and the budgets of those films have, have has risen quite a lot in recent years. Despite this, big American films still do very well in China. The eighth instalment of the Fast and Furious series took nearly twice as much in China as it did in North America. But Hollywood's reliance on Chinese ticket sales has started a worrying trend. Well, there's a lot of self-censorship, uh, no question. Um, China will not always tell you, and normally will not tell you, what you have to do to get the film into the China market. They will let you decide, and you end up self-censoring more than China might censor you. Uh, so that, that can be a problem. Tilda Swinton's Marvel character in Doctor Strange, the Ancient One, Possibility. was changed from a Tibetan to a Celt, in part, it was thought, to placate China. But despite the soft power China may wield on Hollywood films, it's unlikely it'll succeed in exporting its own blockbusters anytime soon. It's very hard for China, given the stories they tell, given their emphasis on the domestic market, uh, given the issue of dubbing and subtitling, uh, for them to do very well overseas. While a lot of those um, local films from the Chinese industry are very culturally specific, I think we might well see uh, Western studios taking on um, titles that performed well in China and remaking them for a US or a Western audience. <laughs>